Good morning, good morning. Monday morning, I believe it's uh, March 28, 2022. This is the day the Lord has made on my way to work. I'm trying to finish up another little paint job and uh, I was just thinking about the gospel again. I'm always thinking about that gospel, the gospel message, because it is the power of salvation, it says over there in Romans 1. It says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, Paul said. And I, that's how I feel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of salvation to all that believe, to the Jew first and then to the Gentile. You know, it goes on to say, for in it, the righteousness of God is revealed. Uh, for in it, you know what I mean? We live from faith to faith. You know, and it is by faith, it is by grace through faith that we are saved. And, you know, uh, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Uh, so I, that's why I like to share the Word of God because I'm um, just praying it'll inject a little faith into someone today. You know what I mean? That someone will receive this message of uh, grace that uh, God sent His Son into the world to save sinners. You know what I mean? It says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever would believe in Him should not perish, would not perish, but would have everlasting life. You know, and you can have eternal life in the Son uh, of God, Jesus Christ. You know, it says over in 1 John that he who has the Son has life, but he who does not have the Son does not have life. You know, for this is eternal life, that they may know the one true God, uh, Yahweh, the one true God, and, uh, and Jesus Christ, him, His Son, whom God has sent. He sent him as a light into the world. You know what I mean? And uh, even John, he came testifying about this light. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm testifying about this light uh, because we know that men love darkness rather than light. So their deeds were evil. You know what I mean? Their deeds are evil. And some people, their conscience is so seared. They're so lost in darkness that they don't even know where they're going because the darkness has blinded their eyes. They're on the broad path of destruction and they don't even know. So... Uh, that's why we're here to proclaim the righteousness of God because it also says over there in Romans that in the gospel the wrath of God is revealed. You know what I mean? The wrath of God is revealed. You know, there's things that's even evident about God in this world being clearly seen uh, by people and, and people are suppressing the truth of God in unrighteousness. So we're here to proclaim the righteousness of God because that's what the Holy Spirit it says. When He comes, He will convict the world of sin, of righteousness, and judgment to come. And it is uh, only righteous for uh, God to bring wrath on those that willingly and uh, brazenly disobey Him. So I'm trying to send people, direct people to the, the path, the narrow path that leads to eternal life. And uh, that, that life is in Christ and in Christ alone. For Christ Jesus, He came into the world. Like I said, uh, He lived a, a sinless life on this world because, see, before He came, the only way there was remission of sins is uh, by blood, and that was still the only way there is a remission of sins is by blood. And the soul that sins shall die. You know what I mean? And it's only a, a judgment to come and death and all of them for people that don't obey the gospel of God. So that that's what the uh, judgment of sin is, is, is death. You know, the penalty of sin is death. And uh, uh, the law came in, you know what I mean, to... to lead us to Christ. You know what I mean? It come in as our schoolmaster to lead us to Christ. And when the law came, sin just increased. You know what I mean? It's like the commandment became alive and that commandment, it, it just produced more sin in this sinner. We're like a sin producing factory. You know what I mean? So uh, Jesus, like I said, he uh, there, there was people sacrificing bulls and goats and all these things and lambs and having to do all these offerings to, to uh, find remission of sins. And um, it just was never, never able to cleanse the conscience and never able to really uh, make the sinner pure. So, so God in His wisdom, He sent, He comes down in the flesh, born of a virgin Mary. He was of the, of the seed of David. He was that promised seed of David. You know what I mean? And came in and uh, lived this sin, sinless life. And then He shed His blood on the cross of Calvary for the remission of sins. You know, and um, he shed his uh, blood for the sins of the whole world through through one man's sin entered the world, and through uh, this one man Christ, uh, he shed his blood as the offering for all times for those that would receive him, and it will cleanse your conscience. You can have a clean conscience today. You know, there's some people, like I said, they're walking around there. They've been sinning willfully for so long. They've been hearing this gospel message for so long that it's just hard to get a little bit of light through them. But like uh, John said, he came to testify about that light, and I'm testifying about the light today. He said I'm, he wasn't the light of the world, but he came to testify about that light. 
you know, and Jesus, he came as the light of the world, you know what I mean? The light that lights every man. He's the same one that breathed uh, life into us and that uh, brings light to every man. And he's, he's uh, you know, and I'm here to shine, shine that light today and tell you about the light of Christ, you know, that, um, you know, Jesus said it like this. He said, look, if the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? You know what I mean? And they that were in darkness, they, they saw a light. You know, and we've been brought, us that have received Christ uh, for the remission of our sins, we've been brought out of darkness into the marvelous light. So I want to ask you today, are you still in darkness or are you in light? You know, the one that's in darkness, he don't know where he's going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. And it's uh, we know that if the gospel's veiled, it's veiled to those who are perishing through whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of those who, who do not believe. So if your mind, if you can just hear this word today and not harden your heart and you're, you, you can be washed with the word of God and with his blood and it, you can have remission of sins, there is forgiveness in his name. And there is salvation in no other name given among men by which we must be saved. It's Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. He is salvation. That's what uh, uh, Yah Yahweh, Jesus came in his Father's name, Yahusha. Yah is our salvation. He is the salvation plan of God. Um, so I'm just uh, wanting to share this gospel message with you today and tell you that uh, you can find strength in him and peace in him. You know what I mean? He said that he came to give us peace, and it's not a peace as the world gives. He gives us a peace that passes all understanding. Understanding. Maybe you're trying today to understand what's going on in your life. What's going on? Where, where am I headed in this life and all this? Well, I'll tell you today that you can you can uh, find peace in him. That even if, even if you don't understand things, it's still you can find peace in him. And see, you grasp hold of this by faith. Because what is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Hope that is seen is not hope. If you already got it, how can you still hope for it? So faith is taking hold of this eternal life and saying, hey, I have eternal life in Christ. I have it. Even though, like Paul said, I don't, you don't see it all yet. But you, you can, when you're born again, you can receive this Holy Spirit as a deposit, as a pledge. It says he's given to us as a pledge. You know what I mean? And then he, it, it, it tells you in the Bible, it says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. But see, and so when you're saved, you work out that own salvation with fear and trembling. But see, he didn't leave us alone. Let me show you how that spirit works because it's the spirit. He says, we're sanctified through the Holy Spirit of promise. He said, for it is God who works in you to will and to do for his good pleasure. You see, so you, you work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You're not left alone. He said, for it is God who works in you. So he gives us his Holy Spirit as a pledge, as a promise. So if you would just uh, receive him today, be born of the Spirit. You know, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. You're, you're in this world. If you're hearing this message, you've been born of the Spirit, of the flesh. Have you been born of the Spirit? That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. You know, Jesus said the words he speaks to us are spirit and they are life. So you can have eternal life today. You can be born again of the Spirit. And that life is in the Son of God, Jesus Christ. If you would just believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Because like I said, he shed his blood on that uh, cross for the remission of our sins. Because without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. But um, you must believe in your heart. Not only did he shed his blood on that cross, but God raised him from the dead. You see, he rose from the dead. He sits at the right hand of the throne of God. He lives to make intercession for us. I mean, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today, like that song says. He lives, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me. A long life's narrow way. See, it's a narrow way in this life, and there's bumpy uh, roads were on. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. You can have that peace today, and you can have life and life more abundantly, and that life is in Christ and in Christ alone. I love you all. Have a wonderful week. God bless.